here at Scunamunk Meadows uh, with the West Point Cadet Bridge behind me. Um, this bridge was constructed in the spring of 2024. It's by the senior class of engineer students. Uh, this is a capstone project that OSI sponsored for the West Point Cadets. As the sponsor, OSI is bringing um, financial backing of the project, uh, professional oversight as, um, as the partner on the project. And in this particular project, we're also working with New York State Parks, uh, which is the land that we are on right now. We are improving this meadow with a trail project and a bridge project for public access in Scunamunk State Park. The Civil Engineering Capstone is meant to bring cadets forward in their education in a different way than the classroom instruction does. The Civil Engineering Capstone is a one-year experience that includes design and usually some kind of fabrication or testing. So they get an opportunity to not only do the kinds of calculations that we see in their other courses, but they also get an opportunity to explore the real world design, uh, the real world implications of those designs and calculations. And I, I think that's just so important to them arriving at a place where they, they feel confident employing those skills after graduation. Um, and a project like this can really inspire them um, towards service to the community, which being a soldier is fundamentally service. Um, and so this project provides them an opportunity to express that service, maybe in a little bit of a different way, um, but in an important way. And that partnership with uh, civilian organizations like uh, the Open Space Institute and uh, the Palisades Interstate Park Commission, it gives them an opportunity to, to reach out to that community with those skills that they developed inside their military education. It was a great experience working through the um, preliminary, the design and actual construction of this bridge. and. Um, Working with outside entities and Open Space Institute really, really grew my knowledge um, and hope for the pr profession in the future. We wanted something that would kind of complement the curvature of the surrounding area. We also have Storm Kink Art Center right down the road, and they have lots of large metal structures there as well. And so we thought that the curved metal shape um, would really just um, complement this entire area. Is this double hanger support system we have right here, which is pretty cool because this is what makes the arch uh, load bearing and structural. So this arch, I mean, it is a pretty design feature, but it also is helping support the weight of the bridge. It's not just dead weight. And so with these hangers, what they are, they're tension members. And so as people walk across the bridge, these are pulling and helping support the load. And then another cool feature we have on the bridge is our, we call them bump outs. They're these cantilever sections that are in the middle. And so it gives people a way to like stop on the bridge and, you know, they can look out and peer around the uh, Scudamunk Meadow area. Um, and I think it's really cool because they can go and stand on the bridge without getting in the way if any bikers or runners decide to go in behind them. Um, so this whole project was really intricate, a lot of moving parts, and so it was really cool just to be a part of that and just have the weight of responsibility because ultimately like this bridge is only as good as we build it and you know we had to make sure it was safe for people to walk on and go across and also pretty for people to look at when they go across it.